So the question is, how do I become more dominant in the bedroom? How do I become more sexually aggressive? Uh, one common problem that I find that we have as men is that we're easily intimidated uh, by the women that we are going to have sex with. And if we're not intimidated by the women, we're intimidated by the expectation of fulfilling some grand ideal. Okay, And, and that usually um, that's related to a unrealistic expectation of perfection. Gentlemen, per perfect sex is impossible. But what you can do to make sex perfect for a woman, perfect for a woman, is to liberate her mind. Okay, I, I said this, um, and I will continue to say this until I'm blue in the face. Women are naturally very insecure creatures. Why they are insecure is another conversation in itself, but they are very insecure uh, primarily about the way that they look. Okay, they're insecure about many things, but their looks, their physical appearance is one of the things that women labor over uh, and they stress over um, repeatedly all the time. That's why they constantly look for affirmations from men uh, and even from each other as far as their looks are concerned, because and it's a part of the reason why they lie to each other a lot of the time when it comes to their looks and, and uh, their their fashion sense and, and so on and so forth, because they're very they they scrutinize themselves to the 10th degree okay they they um they're very conscientious of their physical flaws and even women that you think would not have that that you think even women that you think would be without physical flaws i personally don't believe in the idea of a perfect 10 as we say the the um perfect woman physically but even those women who you think uh have no physical flaws even they torment themselves over flaws that they find within themselves okay women are very very insecure so what you can do to make uh, sex perfect quote unquote for women is to liberate their mind and what i mean by that is to turn their brain off okay S bliss for women uh bliss being in a state of bliss for women what i like to call uh getting her there okay when a woman is is when you get a woman there when you're having sex with her it means that you have made her insecurities moot you have made them utterly irrelevant because she she because you put her in a place where she's not being judged where she's not being scrutinized where she's not being demeaned or or insulted or or hated because of one reason or another in regarding her looks Okay, and that's done by honing and utilizing a single minded enthusiasm. Okay, while you are sexing her. Okay, while you are segueing your while you're in that transition between, you know, continuing to build attraction and going to the bedroom and doing whatever you want with her. And well, then the question becomes, well, how do I build and utilize that kind of single minded enthusiasm? There are generally two things, in my opinion, that um, you can do better as a man um, and what I think most men can do better. And that's generally um, not being afraid to put your hands on her and not being afraid to tell her what to do as far as the woman that you're having sex with is concerned. Um, I've said this again many times as well. Women do not like men that are hesitant, that ask permission for things. They don't like men that seem to be uncertain about what they should and shouldn't be doing in the bedroom. What you should and should be doing in the bedroom is irrelevant, gentlemen. What you should be doing in the bedroom is whatever you want with her, okay? Tell her what to do, grab her hair, call her dirty names, make her say things that psychologically put her in a state where she's dependent on you. That's what women want. Women want to be owned in bed. They want to be dominated. And especially if you're getting to the point where sex is a foregone conclusion, you have already established attraction. You have already, you have already built, you have already built she she already has created a level of of uh, comfort and trust in you to allow you um, to go inside of her. Okay, so how do I become more dominant in the bedroom? Um, just don't be don't be intimidated. Because the thing too, gentlemen, one mistake that we do as well is that we tend to. Um, we tend to put women on pedestals, okay? And and a lot of the time, you know, especially when we're um, bagging a woman that we think is substantially better looking than us, that's when those worries come into play. Okay, I have to do everything right. I have to talk to her right. I have to um, flirt with her right. I have to touch her right. You're worried about all of this stuff, you know, because her looks are playing a factor, okay? When in reality, her looks do not matter. Gentlemen, the sooner you wrap your mind and accept the fact that women women don't really hmm, how do i say this 
the 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 facade that women create when they say that I'm all that, I'm a bad B I T C H, all that stuff. It's usually just an act to hide the insecurities that lie within. Okay, and the sooner you can accept that and know that when you look at a woman, you know that, you know. It, it, see, the thing is, I'm not saying that you should act like a jerk to every woman that you're attracted to. Okay. There's a difference between doing what you want with a woman that you know, and you've already developed attraction with and doing what you want to a woman who is a stranger. Okay. Most of the time that's not going to work out because women, everything with women starts and ends in the mind. Okay. Um, the, the, a guy, a guy being a jerk can be sexy, but being a jerk to a woman isn't sexy if she doesn't know you, if that makes sense. Um, so don't be intimidated. Uh, don't be obsessed. Uh, don't become obsessed with a, a, a desire for perfection. Gentlemen, never forget the, the search for perfection, the quest for perfection, uh, is impossible. Okay. Well, no, that's, that's not the right way to say it. The right way to say it would be that perfection is impossible, but the search for perfection is admirable. Okay. There's nothing wrong with you wanting to be um, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to create the best, uh, most unforgettable um, experiences with a woman, okay? But don't get caught up in trying to be the best, okay? Because it's likely as well, gentlemen, that um, that you are not the only guy that she's had sex with or and or you are not the only guy uh, that she's having sex with currently, okay? Um, so one thing that will elevate you, that will separate you from other men is the single-minded enthusiasm that I mentioned, okay? Not, you know, not being afraid to put your hands on her, not being afraid to tell her what to do, uh, doing what you want, okay? Putting her in a state of psychological bliss. Uh, and, th you know, that state is created when she's turning, when you have turned her brain off, okay, when her insecurities no longer matter, you know, an explosion, you know, a city could, you know, um, burst into flames outside of your window, you know, and that kind of calamity would not matter, okay, while you're having sex with one another. That's the kind of, that's the kind of um, urgency, intensity, and desire that you want to create with her while you're having sex with her, okay, so don't be intimidated. Put her in a sense of um, in a in a in a place of psychological psychological bliss um, by eliminating her insecurities by putting her in a state where she's no longer thinking about them where you where she thinks that you think that she is the most important thing in the world to you in that moment. I don't pretend to be a high value man. I don't even pretend to be a man with means. The truth is that I have very little, but I'm still a man who's able to find success with women which means that perhaps my words will help other men.